is that this man was able to build a bomb. It is a bomb that killed a lot of people. Bombs tend to be a lot more sophisticated uh, than the sort of cars and knives we've seen improvised weapons used by other lone wolves. That leading to suspect that possibly, possibly I should say at this stage, a larger network could be at play here. Jake. All right, Clarissa Ward, thank you so much. As investigators are hunting for terror links, British authorities have raided homes and properties over the past 24 hours, including that of the suicide bomber. CNN's Atika Schubert is in the Fallowfield neighborhood of Manchester where raids took place. Atika, are the police still going through the suspect's house? Well, we still have police here. You can see they've cordoned off the street, and we've counted about, well, maybe a little less than a dozen police still in the area there. Earlier, there were forensics crews going through, taking out documents, and, of course, it started very dramatically with the controlled explosion to gain access into the home. Um, now, what we have found by going through public records, speaking with neighbors and friends, is that this May is the last known address of the suspect. This is where he was registered PM. as living since 2014. Maybe Red uh, Squirrel. We don't have many other details than that. Uh, he was a stranger to many of his neighbors, seems to have kept to himself. Sophie watching. Um, and we do know, of course, that he, now that he was a universal. You want to get that squirrel, don't you, Sophie? You like that, Sophie? You like that, Sophie? Yeah. We scared him. Justin got arrested for assaulting someone. Justin thought that he could sight this from a distance, so he fled from New Orleans to Texas. He's like, let's go. I don't like this city. I was like, okay, let's go. I decided to run with him because I'm a ride or die. I'm just that kind of girl. Well, um, okay, let me ask you something. Okay, peace out. I, let's love every idea for fun.